My guest today is Wayne Lee, CSP. Wayne is a good friend of mine from the Professional Speakers Association. He is a stage hypnotist, but he does far, far more than that. And hypnosis is really people telling people to do something and them acting upon it as if it is real. So when we take that into context and we look at the, the self-talk that we're giving ourselves every day, as well as communicating with others, wow, our words are powerful and our intentions are powerful. And when we change that, we change everything. And it's the root of performance is that our programming, all those things that we're saying and commanding become the foundation of how we perform or how we don't perform. But when you can program yourself to visualize as if you've already achieved it, you're building strong beliefs, you're, you're building very powerful habits that automate your response to succeed. And so that's your subconscious. It's just like a GPS that's always letting you know that you're on course and you're programming it. And so when you're programming it with feeling as though you've achieved it, wow, that is powerfully ingraining in your subconscious what you want. Uh, the term that I use is I call it pretending. If you look at the word intend, what do you intend to do? Well, that's what you want. So when you pretend it, you're prepaving. Now, kids do this remarkably well. They're pretending they're this, and they don't know any different. They believe it to be true. I believe most people use this the wrong way. They, yeah, so explain. What they do is they focus on everything that's wrong in their life, all the things that are, and they feel all of the anger or frustration or helplessness. And it's that picturing and feeling. And I think most people go around applying this principle, focus on what sucks in their life. And so they, yeah. they resuckify. They, they, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and I'm just going to shut a few things down here because you're, you're just, uh, how can you say, cl clicking out here a little bit here, Ravi. So, yeah. um, but you're right. What people focus upon expands. So I've got an acronym for focus. I'm going to throw an acronym because I, I love my acronyms. They come to me I all, know you do. all the time. <laughs> so uh, focus is the first acronym that actually came to me while I was driving down the highway and I ran out of gas. <laughs> but focus is fixed, ongoing concentration, unlimited success. So F-O-C-U-S, fixed, ongoing concentration, unlimited success. So that's exactly it. You're going to be successful in the negative things you don't want if you continually focus upon that. So it's a precise, precise science and law in terms of what we focus upon is what we get. And how do we know what we're focusing upon? Well, look at what you got in life. But before you even get those things, the feeling state, your emotional state is always letting you know what you're focusing upon. Now, this may sound very simple. It is true, though. When you feel good, you're focused upon what's powerful, positive, and productive. When you feel negative or bad, it's just energy and it is the negative side of what you're lacking, you're focusing upon that. So when you have a strong desire, very powerful, very excited to say, wow, this is my dream, but then you have a negative thought that says, I can't do this, it's never happened to me, maybe I'm not good enough, it counteracts your natural heartfelt desire that's a flow state of pushing forward and then you've got resistance. So that's the cool thing is that it's a precise tool. It's a precise indicator that you're not aligned to who you really are. And hypnosis just allows people to let go of that and reprogram themselves to be in alignment.